In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with segments from chords in circles. So in example A, we're asked to find X, and we have a circle, and there are two chords in the circle which are intersecting. So each of these are chords. The relationship here is that the two segments on the same chord, if you take the product of them, that will be the same product as the two segments on any other chord. So that means in this case, 12 times 8 is the same as 10 times x. So now we can solve this equation for x. We have 96 equals 10x, and once you divide by 10, you get 9.6 equals x. All right, let's go to example B. Find x in the diagram below. So this is exactly the same situation. We have two chords that are intersecting. Notice it has nothing to do with whether they go through the center or not. This property will hold no matter what. So we're going to take the two segments that are on the same chord and multiply them and set them equal to the two segments on the other chord. So 9 times 5 equals 15 times x. So 45 equals 15x, which means that 3 equals x, or x equals 3. Finally, let's look at example C. All right, solve for x, and it looks like we have two parts. And it's the same situation in each case. We have two intersecting chords. So you just need to match up the segments that are on the same chord and multiply them. So for A, we'd have 8 times 24, because those are two segments on the same chord, equals 12 times 3x plus 1. And don't forget you're going to have to distribute the 12 in order to solve this correctly. So we have 192 equals 36x plus 12. So we'll minus 12 and get 180 equals 36x, which means that x equals 5. And in part b, we're going to do the same thing. First, let's multiply 32 times 21. Those are two segments on the same chord, equals x minus 9 times x minus 13. So 32 times 21 is 672. And on the right, we have a binomial times a binomial. So you can use FOIL or perhaps a rectangle model in order to multiply those. And you'll get x squared minus 22x plus 117. So this is a quadratic equation that we're going to have to solve. And in order to solve a quadratic equation, remember the first thing you want to do is have it equal to 0. So we'll minus 672 from both sides in order to have our equation equal to 0. So we have 0 equals x squared minus 22x minus 555. Now we can solve this quadratic two ways. We can either factor it or use quadratic formula. In this case, I'm going to factor, and it factors to x minus 37 times x plus 15. Now we use the zero product property to get our two answers. We know that x minus 37 has to equal 0, or x plus 15 has to equal 0, which gives our two answers as x equals 37 or x equals negative 15. Now if we look back into the context of the problem, x equals negative 15 doesn't make sense because that would mean that each of these lengths was a negative length. And you can't have a negative length, so that means the only real answer is x equals 37.